Hi guys, um, this is Starla again, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to straighten your hair. Um, I've already blow dried my hair, um, didn't really do anything special, just, you know, blow dried it, and I didn't even use a brush. I just, you know, the longer your hair is, I think the easier the straighter it is because it's more weight, so it kind of weighs itself down. Um, so I don't really have to, to work too much with the paddle brush or with a round brush, it just kind of goes straight. Um, the reason I, I do straighten it is because um, sometimes I have little funny curls that go <laughs> and um, it also kind of, uh, using a flat iron gives you a, a shinier, sleeker look. So um, in Miami weather I, I try to, um, to straighten it before I go out just to keep it from frizzing like a balloon. Um, the straightening iron that I'm going to be using today is the Ion One Stroke Perpetual Heat. And I got this actually yesterday at Sally's. Um, my chi that I've had for six years died a couple days ago and I needed to get a new iron so I went ahead and bought this one. This is what it looks like. It was about 70, say $75, maybe 75 to 79. Um, and the reason I got this one is because it had a lot of good reviews. I did my, my research while I was in Sally's on my phone and everyone seemed to, to really like it. And then it also came with a free curling iron, um, an Ion Titanium Platinum, one inch. So I thought, you can't beat that, and it's a $35 value, and I got it for free. So I haven't tried it yet, it's still in the box, but I'm trying the flat iron for the first time today, so let's see how it works. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in, and See, it's supposed to heat up really quickly, so I'm excited to try it. Yep, and it just kind of gives you a digital read like that. It's a one inch flat iron, and um, I think it'll do really well. So the first thing I do with my hair um, when I straighten it is I divide it into two sections. Some people do it differently, some people divide it to four, some people don't divide it at all and just leave it down. Um, for me, what works the best is just having a top and bottom section, and I do the bottom first. So what you will need today is a wide tooth comb, and I've already combed my hair out so it's, it's easy to, um, to just run the iron through it. And before I blow dried my hair, I used my macadamia healing oil treatment, um, and I think I did a review on this earlier. So um, just to protect it from the heat, I really, really like it. So let's go ahead and get started. Oh, you also need, where is my clip? Um, here it is. And a clip like this. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to take my hair and divide it. And like I said yesterday, I have fine hair, but I have a lot of it. So um, I'm just gonna take it like that, kind of just put it on top leaving me with a section below. You can see like that. It doesn't have to be perfect, it doesn't have to be anything fancy, just to get it out of the way. And then my iron should be heated, it is. So, the first thing I do is I start, I just pick a side. And I'll start with this side today. So I take pretty small sections, um, and I start from the top and work my way down. My hair is already pretty straight just from, you know, blow drying it, but you can see how it gives it a nice straight and little turned under end at the bottom. I like it. And then I do that in here. Don't go through it too fast because, you know, the more the faster you go, um, the more times you'll have to go through it, but you can see I have a nice little curve at the bottom just to give it so it's not pinned straight. For me, I just like to have a little, little bit of a curve so my layers um, frame my face and so do it again you don't want to go through you know at a snail's pace either because you'll fry your hair but you know slow enough that you just see there go a little closer y'all can see like that and then I'll do the other side and I have to say so far I'm liking this iron that's what I've seen thus far. Yep. Here's that. Uh, that 
my sections are about this thick. You know, enough to just to run the iron through it so it fits. Um, looks like that. Okay. Now for my bangs. Um, what I end up doing with my bangs, you can kind of see that little flip out and it, it really bothers me sometimes and I think I get it because I put this piece behind my ear so it bends. Um, and so what I'll do with my bangs is I'll take my comb and just to make sure it's all cleared through, take the iron. So my bangs go over my left eye and so I'll pull them with the iron like this over my right eye to the other side and it just kind of gives them a little more volume. You don't want your bangs to fall flat on your head. Um, just a little like that and then I'll put them back over and you can see already that that little funny curl is gone that flip out so you can see it like that so after I've done my bangs what I'll do is I will in my bottom section and you guys can see it's pretty straight pretty smooth I like this iron I can tell so I'll do my second layer and I mean, if it gets mixed in with the bottom layer, that's okay. This is just how I do mine. Everyone has a different way of doing it. And you just have to figure out what makes you comfortable when you're doing your hair. It takes a little practice, but you'll get it. Okay. So, my top layer. Start here. Like I said, go down slowly. Down to the bottom. Like that. See? That's what it looks like. And then... Like that. And my layers, I just have, um, I don't really put any layers above my chin. I like them to start below my jawline and go down. Um, and I also have layers in the back so it makes a U shape. And I'll show you guys at the end what it looks like. Um, and I kind of already know where all of my, um, my, my sections should be from dividing them from the top and the bottom, just because I've, I've done it for a while now and you'll figure it out too, but it's pretty, once you get the hang of it, I can do all of this in under 10 minutes, um, which is really nice because my styling time is cut down significantly. In some sections you might have to go over one more time. It's not the end of the world, you know. You can be your own judge. So, okay. You guys can see how the layers are going under. And almost done. This iron is awesome. I have a lot of hair to work with, so um, I'm impressed that it gets it done this quickly. I think the key is to blow dry your hair before, you know, and to try to get it as straight as possible. I mean, I think the longer your hair is, the easier it is to get it straight. If you have hair like mine, um, that's wavy, not curly, but wavy. I think if you have curlier hair, it is, it is more difficult. Um, so I think I am done. Yeah. Okay. So I'll show you guys what it looks like in the back. My iron away. So, this is my hair in the back, so you guys can see. And let me know what you think, and if you guys try out the iron, and if you go to Sally's now, um, you know, it's, it's September, so maybe they'll still have the deal for you guys when you go and you can get a free curling iron. So anyways, thanks for watching, and have a great day. Bye.